Hello everyone, I'm Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Welcome to our channel where today I'm going to be showing you how we restore some pine furniture, adding some fun new details whilst also keeping some of its natural charm. This amazing solid pine blanket box was kindly gifted to me from a family member for our new home. As you can see, it's in a perfectly sturdy condition. It just needs a little bit of TLC, bringing up to date and injecting with some of my style to fit in with our interior. So as always with waxed pieces like this is waxed pine, I start off by removing all of that wax with my Barco carbide scraper. I'm keeping the blade parallel to the wood and working with the wood grain so that I can prevent any damage but easily remove the wax. Now that all of the wax has been removed, I'm going to sand the wood smooth. So I'm actually going to stain this wood box and then use a stencil. So as the pine is going to be on show rather than painted, I want to make sure I've got a nice even surface. I start with an 80 grit, then I move down to a 120 and then finally I'll be using a 240 to leave a nice smooth finish. Now of course I want the inside to look just as good as the outside, so I'm going to be painting the interior with silk mineral paint in the colour Cactus. The reason I love silk so much is because it is so easy to use. It has got a built-in primer and top coat, so there's no need to use anything else than just the paint. I will apply two coats of paint to the interior for full coverage. Now it's time to lighten the wood. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's Voodoo Gel Stain in Eau Naturelle. You just saw me spritzing the entire surface with a little bit of water with my Mr. Bottle. This helps to spread the gel stain on evenly across the whole piece and it also helps the wood to absorb the stain. As the water and the gel stain dry, it will be sucked into that wood. I use Dixie Belle's blue sponge to apply this, working in long smooth strokes and as always working with the direction of the wood grain. Now to add something a little extra special, I've got the Retro Lattice Mylar stencil and some more silk paint in the colour Sandcastle. I'm then going to position the stencil where I want it, get some paint on my roller, roll off the excess and then apply a smooth even layer across the stencil. As I always say, the best way to prevent any bleed through is to work in thin, even layers which you can build up as much as you like. I always find the best way to repeat the pattern perfectly is to position the stencil overlapping slightly on the previous section. Now my preferred style is when things look slightly rustic rather than freshly painted. So with this stencil I'm just going to sand it a little bit just to distress it in some areas. But I'm using a very fine grit sandpaper in order to keep the distressing quite subtle. Next up I'm going to apply some wax to protect an age. So I'm starting with some clear wax which I'm applying all over with my La Petite brush. I'm then going to wipe off the excess using a sponge. And now to finish I'm going to use some brown wax and this is going to add some more depth and antique it even more. So again I'm going to apply this all over, this time I'm using my designated brown wax brush which is a French tip. And once I've covered the whole piece in the brown wax, I'll leave it for a couple of minutes and then remove the excess using a sponge again. And here is the finished look. I absolutely love how this one's turned out and I cannot wait to use it as a coffee table in our new home. Thank you for joining us today. Please let me know in the comments what you think of my latest transformation.
You can find more of our projects over on all of the social media sites at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. We look forward to seeing you there. And to keep updated on when we next post a video, then you can subscribe here on our channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on our next video. Bye for now.